Namaste, I am Manjula. Welcome to Manjula's Kitchen. Today I will be making Okra Tomato Curry. Crunchy Okra with tomato gravy makes a very rich and delicious side dish. This recipe will serve three. For this recipe we will need for gravy one and half cup of tomato puree which I have used four medium sized tomato and about one fourth inch of ginger peas, one tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seed, pinch of asafoetida, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of cornstarch. For okra, we need one fourth pound of okra which I have already trimmed the top and sliced from the center. This will make about one and a half cup of cut okra, one fourth cup of gram flour besan, half a teaspoon of mango powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin seed, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of crushed fennel seed, one and a half teaspoon of crushed coriander and about two to three tablespoons of water. We also need the oil to fry. First I will make tomato gravy. Heat is on medium high. Okay, so first I will add the oil. Oil should be moderately hot before we add the cumin seed because cumin seed should crack right away. Okay, oil is ready. First I will add the cumin seed. Add asafoetida. Now we'll add the coriander powder, chili powder, salt, turmeric, and sugar. Now stir it just for a few seconds and add the tomatoes. After tomato comes to boil, uh, you need to cook them about for two to three minutes and then we are going to add the corn starch and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of water in corn starch and dissolve it. Okay, this has been about uh, three minutes and this gravy is looking good. It's time to add the corn starch and I have already put the water in it to dissolve and mix it well and cook it after it comes to boil cook for another minute and this corn starch will make gravy very nice and thick it has been boiling for about a minute after i have put the corn starch so if this you can see it is nice and thick so gravy is ready and now we are going to prepare the okra so now i will prepare the okra for frying so add all the spices mango powder chili powder, cumin seed, salt, fennel seeds and coriander. Mix it and now add the gram flour. So just uh, keep about one tablespoon of gram flour. Don't add all. Mix it and now we are going to mix with hand. Just add little water at a time because the mix should be dry, not uh, watery. And this mix should be prepared just before when you are ready to fry them. So this is looking good. So I think we have used maybe about one and a half tablespoon of water. And I'm going to add rest of the gram flour. And see, okra should be coated really well. As you see they are very nicely coated. I am ready to fry and heat is on medium high. Okay, oil is ready. So I am going to fry the okras. And fry them till they are golden brown both sides. You have to turn the okra occasionally. This should take about uh, two to three minutes. Don't fry them on very high heat otherwise okra will not cook right. It has been about four minutes and as you see okras are looking nice and brown very crunchy. So take them out 
and they are ready to serve. Okra tomato curry is ready and I am ready to serve but gravy and fried okra should be hot before you put them together. So I am going to add the fried okra in tomato gravy and you just put them on the top so that way they stay crunchy and when you serve them you take it from the bottom some gravy and okra together. It's just looking beautiful. It's a very mouth watering dish and your guest will enjoy it. Okra tomato curry is looking beautiful. This is a great dish when you want to impress your friends. Enjoy it. Thank you. Till we meet again, check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com.